I recently spent a few days exploring Arizona and Utah, and I was able to check quite a few photography bucket list locations off my list. And this time, I went minimal. Let's talk about it. YouTube, what is good? So if you are an avid follower of this channel, you know your boy is terrible at preparing for photography trips. Historically, on a lot of the trips I've gone on on this channel, I've made some mistakes with the gear that I bring with me, whether that's packing too much, packing too little, bringing the wrong camera, wrong lens. It happened to me when I went to New York earlier this year. I was really bummed out that I didn't bring a low aperture lens because it kind of affected some of my snow images, but, this trip to Utah and Arizona, your boy is proud to say he got it right. So I'm gonna go through this extremely minimal travel setup that I brought with me and why it should be something that you wanna consider when you go out and travel, because I really enjoyed this. This is something you can apply to a simple day trip when you're going out of town or a week long trip as well. There is something beneficial to actually bringing less with you and keeping yourself in the moment when you're out doing pictures. So let me go through what I got in my bag and what my logic was behind everything I brought with me. The first thing is this Gitzo Traveler tripod. I talked about this in the Angels Landing hike video that I did. This is a tripod I recently picked up because I was sick of my last one. Y'all have heard me talk before about how much I hate tripods, mainly because they're just big and a inconvenience. You know, who wants to carry around some big, bulky, heavy thing with you, especially when you're trying to enjoy some new surroundings and take in all the new inspiration that you get from traveling. So this Gitzo tripod is definitely a game changer for me just because of how small it is. Also, I love how convenient it is to use. You just twist these little things right here and the legs come out. It's just more convenient and simple. And when it comes to, like I said, travel, convenience is one of the biggest things you can have. So that was the first thing I brought. I put it in my suitcase. I was also able to fit it in this bag, which is the bag I've had for years now. It is the Low Pro. What is this thing called? Pro Tactical. BP 350 AW2. I've talked about this a bunch. Uh, I've considered replacing it, but there really is no reason to. I mean, this thing is beat up. It's been all over the place, and it's a bag that I'm gonna continue to use until I don't see a reason to. So inside the bag, we only have technically four things in here. So what I brought with me, and this was my strategy for the trip, is I brought a 24 to 70 lens, and that was gonna be my main lens for video and for photo. I told myself going into it, hey, just make it happen, make it work. You only have one option for the majority of this trip. Also, when I went to Antelope Canyon, you're not allowed to bring a bag with you. And I knew that I was gonna want something that had a little bit of wide angle and a little bit of zoom as well. And if I could only bring one lens, the 24 to 70 is the lens to do that. I've also said before that this is the most boring lens on the planet Earth and I still maintain that to this day. I absolutely despise the 24 to 70 because it's just, it's just so damn lame. Like there's nothing exciting about 24 millimeter or 70 millimeter, but it gets the job done. But I did bring a backup wide angle lens just in case I needed it. And the main time that I planned on using it was when I was hiking up Angel's Landing, which if you didn't see that video, I'll link in the description down below. That was a hike that had a lot of wide open spaces. I thought I might wanna do some video where I had a wide, you know, 16 millimeter type lens to really show how vast the landscape was but this is a lens that pretty much stayed in my bag unused until the minute that I needed it. And that was something I strategy or strategically planned out in my head before the trip. I knew I wasn't gonna need to be changing lenses a lot. This was just gonna be used for one specific thing and that's exactly what it was. And the camera I'm using, as always, is the Leica SL2. Fantastic camera, I'm not gonna talk about it too much. There's a bunch of videos on the channel about it. But the next thing that I brought was actually our sponsor today, Cuts. They weren't in my camera bag, but they were featured in every single photo and all the video footage from this trip because I wore it the entire time. Cuts is a fantastic part of this channel, and this is the greatest thing they've ever made. The owners of the company, my guys over there, they might disagree with me on this, but the vintage collection hoodie and sweatpants is my favorite item they've ever done. The fit is crazy, it's comfortable. This is the only one I brought. I wore it the entire trip when I was going out at night, when I was getting dinner, and I wore Cuts t-shirts like this one when I was out hiking. If you saw the last video where I hiked up Angel's Landing, the black t-shirt I was wearing in all those photos was a Cuts curved hem black t-shirt. At this point, I've talked about Cuts quite a bit on this channel. I've worked with them for over a year, and they are a sponsor I'm so proud to have on this channel because of what they actually do for my life. Everything they make, you can wear out 
to make photography, you can wear it to the gym, and then you can also wear it out to a night with friends or a casual business function. The versatility of this brand is the main reason I continue to work with them and why I love them so much. They've been a game changer to my wardrobe, so you guys should definitely check it out. Cuts is hooking everybody up with 15% off on their first order. Head down to the link in the description below. Grab yourself something. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. The level of confidence and swag you get from having clothes that look good and fit properly it's undefeated. So check out Cuts and thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. They were a huge part of this trip. They filled up my suitcase. They technically weren't in the camera bag, but forgive me on that one. But the last thing that I brought with me on this trip was this 35 millimeter Summicron F2. This is a lens that I've used quite a bit. Now the reason I brought this lens was another little strategy move on my part. I wasn't planning on using this lens at all throughout the trip except when I was walking around in casual situations. So I stayed in Springdale, Utah, and if you've ever been there before, it's actually a really cool town. It's almost like a beach town with like a nature theme. Instead of going to the beach, you go out hiking and you go out and do all these adventure things. It's an amazing place, highly recommend you staying there if you ever get the opportunity. But I knew that at night, maybe in the morning when I was going to get coffee, I was gonna be walking around and I wasn't gonna to wanna to have this giant 24 to 70 lens on my camera. So I brought the 35 millimeter and I made a couple really cool photos that I'm happy with as I was walking around doing those more casual things. So me breaking that down should illuminate the reason that I'm making this video in the concept that I want you to think about as a photographer. When you're going out and making pictures, have intention on what you're bringing and why you're bringing it with you. Every single piece of gear in my bag had a specific predetermined purpose for me. I knew 35 millimeter, casual lens. That's the only way we're using it. 24 to 70, that's everything for video, everything for photo, outside of the one or two special occasions where I might want the wide angle lens, but this lens was something that I was gonna use for a very specific purpose at a very specific location. I can't tell you how many times I've talked with other photographers who pack you know, a giant bag or pack Pelican cases on trips and then they end up using just their plain old 35 millimeter or one of their go-to tried and true lenses for 90% of what they make. And I think it's important for us as photographers and creatives to just think a little bit more and be a little bit more intentional. And while at times I've been a little bit skeptical of every principle that minimalism applies, I do believe in the idea of being intentional with what you have and having everything serve a purpose. And this couldn't be more paramount than it is in travel situations where you have a limited amount of space in your bag and limited amount of time at locations to create as much as possible. It could be years before I'm back in Utah. Maybe I might never go back to Antelope Canyon, who knows? And you wanna optimize the time that you have at these places to create and not waste your time worrying about all the options and all the different things that you have in your bag and all the things that you could be doing rather than doing the thing that you actually went there to do, which is create and experience this new place. 